What's going on guys, Rob from Clicks Geek, and today's case study, we're going to run through a pressure washing campaign that in its peak season, which is the summer, and we're going to take August. So 30 day, 31 days in August, we're going to run through this. So he was spending modestly $50 a day, which is all you really need to, uh, to run these campaigns successfully in pressure washing. $50 a day, he got 58 clicks, 1,100 impressions, 5% click-through rate, so that's pretty much on target where you want to be. Average cost per click was about $18, $19. Total cost for the month was $1,000. He got 23 pressure washing leads at a cost of $47 a lead, and the conversion rate was 39%, which is exactly where we want to be. Um, 25 to 35 for this space is where you want to aim for. We were using maximized conversions bidding strategy, or we are using it, I should say. And um, it's uh, you know it's going really well the maximized conversions bidding strategy. But it's important don't just start your campaign out brand new using that. If you're going to start a, a pressure washing campaign brand new, try and try and use maximized clicks and set a bid limit cap of like uh, I mean I would start it at like. 25 bucks just to make sure Google doesn't go crazy and bid $80 for keywords because they will they 100% will So conversion rates really good. That's mostly um, Phone call leads almost all of these are phone call leads. I think maybe two of them are contact form submissions So people with an urgent problem they need their house pressure washed or sidewalk or driveway whatever and um, That's why the conversion rate so high is because we're just calling these we have these ad groups break broken out into such detail that you know, for someone who's looking for house pressure washing, they're going to house pressure washing landing page with house pressure washing ads and all that stuff. Same with sidewalks, and it's all very organized, so that's why the conversion rate's so high. Cost per lead, 47 bucks. Um, I'm happy with that. I'd like it to be down closer to 30, but at, you know, 47, I'm, I'm okay with that. The budget could be increased um, if you're running pressure washing it depends on how aggressive you want to be with your lead generation and if you have the funds to do it I would highly recommend starting out with anywhere from 50 to 75 a day but if you if you're getting cooking like this guy and you're getting leads and you're booking jobs definitely reinvest that into um, your budget and try and bump that to 100 because it's only going to bring you more jobs and that's the most important part as far as the ad groups and the keywords like I kind of breezed over before they're very, very detailed. So each ad group for this has its own landing page as well. So for this one, it's, you know, the house pressure washing goes to house pressure washing landing page, house pressure washing keywords, house pressure washing ads. And then we go down to, you know, sidewalk pressure washing, driveway pressure washing, um, patio, deck, pool. I mean, there's a, there's a ton of things you can do in this space. Um, just use a keyword planner and you'll you'll see all the stuff I'm talking about. Now the landing page is very simple. Again, we're pushing mobile traffic. So for this campaign, we're bidding negative 100% for desktop and negative 100% for a tablet. So we're trying to only push mobile traffic because we want people calling. We don't want really, and, and every campaign you run, you should ideally try and optimize to get phone calls because phone calls typically turn into actually book jobs and revenue at a significantly higher rate than a contact form submission does. We've seen that people end up having to chase contact form submissions. They're not answering the phones or they're hard to get on the phone. So it's always better if you can to push phone calls. So that's what we've been pushing with that. And um, besides that, I mean, this, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just have everything in line. Have your keywords in line with your ads and your ads in line with your landing pages. That's it. All we're doing with Google Ads, guys, is, is, it's not hard. We're just finding people who are searching for a problem that needs to be solved we're presenting a local solution to that problem that is all it is and that's why you see our and all these case study videos I'm making for you guys that's why you're always gonna see these conversion rates that are you know 40 percent 39 percent 30 percent 25 even 17 18 like they're high I mean they're most PPC agencies are not gonna be seeing conversion rates like that you're gonna be seeing them more around 12 to 15 that's just the way it is I mean just you know, do what I'm telling you, and and you'll you'll get these results. And it's again, don't think it's just gonna come easy like the first 30 days. It's not. It's a lot of testing. It's a lot of tweaking. Like we didn't just turn this on and the guy's conversion rate is 39 percent. This is months of work that went into it to tweak and adjust and landing page changes and campaign changes. So just you got to stay on it. That's the best advice I can give you. So if you're interested in us running this type of campaign for for you or for one of your clients, reach out today and we can 
show you how to get this rolled out to your location or your client's location and get them generating leads. And also check out the description below this video and I'm going to put some links in there for you guys. And also if you have a comment or a question about this type of um, campaign or this campaign in particular, drop that in the comment section below as well. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.